Hello there. It has become apparent over the last few years, as the Brexit talks developed, that we now sorely need a UK equivalent of the US Logan Act. If the UK had a law in place similar to the Logan Act in the USA, we would not have seen the shameful images and videos of Remainer MPs toddling off openly and happily to Brussels to undermine the official Brexit negotiations. The Logan Act is a law that came into force in the US back in 1799 and it criminalises any negotiations by unauthorised people with foreign powers that the US has a dispute with. Up until now, we in the UK have had to rely on the honour of people like Members of Parliament to recognise the convention that the government negotiates for the country. But as we have seen throughout these Brexit talks, Remain-minded MPs have become more emboldened every day to almost flaunt their anti-Brexit activities where travelling for talks with Eurocrats and officials in foreign embassies is concerned. In fact, there is a lot of credible evidence that some have used EU and EU27 member state assets in their continued attempts to put a wrecking ball through Brexit. And that even led to Number 10 recently setting up an investigation into certain MPs' activities. And because of the state of UK law at present, there seems to be no way to censure, let alone control, these MPs' activities. So it comes as good news that some Tory MPs are pushing for a new law to fill that gap. The MP that the Daily Mail says is most likely to put this forward is Andrea Jenkins, who said over the weekend that The Prime Minister performed admirably to return from Brussels with the deal he did. But the reality is he, he was sent to the EU with one arm tied behind his back while his opponents have shuttled back and forth attempting to have the EU kick his legs out from under him. The events of the last few months confirm that the UK must join its international allies and institute laws to ban such actions that jeopardise British statecraft. And James Rogers, the director of Global Britain programme at the Henry Jackson Society, said... In the past, Britain has not needed an American-style Logan Act, as well-observed convention left diplomacy to authorised government ministers. The recent rise of shadow negotiators, both with the EU and with foreign governments beyond, has destroyed that convention and risks undermining the national interest. Therefore, very serious consideration is likely to be given to new laws to deter unauthorised diplomatic activity with foreign actors with whom the government is in negotiation and disagreement. Now, I would suspect that Brexit has only brought this issue out into the open. Remember, MPs have always gone off on jaunts abroad, and if they do end up trying clandestinely to derail government policy, then we've probably, as ordinary voters, not been aware of it, because they're not required to sign up to anything, or covered by any law, and therefore no one can do anything about it anyway. So this would be a good move as far as I'm concerned. But I would also now like to see the rules within the House of Commons tightened up, so that MPs are forced to operate within their own rulebook, and any decisions made that come about through breaking those rules can be declared null and void by the courts. Now... That may lead to a flurry of litigation while they sorted their act out, and MPs might claim it wasn't right that the sovereignty of Parliament could be challenged. But the people of the country, who already had grave misgivings about politicians, trust MPs even less after seeing how they acted during Brexit. So these current MPs have damaged any right to trust that politicians had and have brought this situation upon themselves. Anyway, what do you think? Please share and comment and thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. And thank you very much for watching.